Alright guys, so today we are going to 3D print a kunai. We're going to start by going up here. We're going to go to thingiverse.com. Once you're in Thingiverse, I already have a, um, I already have an account, but I don't think you really even need one. I think I signed in with Google. We're going to search a kunai. A friend of mine wants a kunai, so we're going to print a kunai. I believe that's how you say it. So we go to Thingiverse, we start looking. I looked at some different files and I believe this is the one that I settled on. I clicked it. After I clicked it, I looked around a little more, checked it out. Looks legit. It's got some makes on it. Three thing files, four makes. Looks like it's going to work. So I went up here to click download all files. After that, I went into Ultimaker Cura. And I'm, I'm going to show you what we're going to do from there. All right, so now we're in Cura. It's telling me a new one's available. I don't care yet. I'll get to it later. This will work for me now. I'm going to go import a file. And it's already on the Kunai. So we're going to go ahead and just select those and hit open. Now it's going to place them on your mat like this. I'm moving this around by hitting the right mouse button and holding and moving the mouse. If you want to move parts, you select them with the left click. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just rotate this up, I think 90 degrees, so we'll grab the green one, goes 90, boom, and I like how it put itself flat, so we're going to grab the other one, do the same thing, select it with left click, move it with left click, I thought it was going to be the other click, but it's not. Something in my mind wants to say right click should be the, the more dominant click, but it's not. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm actually doing a time lapse on this as well, so I'm going to reselect it. I'm going to move it a little bit over here. So, from there, we are using a six millimeter nozzle. I like the six millimeter. It, with something with more detail you would want to go down to like a 0.4 or you know even little mini figures or something maybe even like a 0.2 but I mean you're drastically increasing your print times when you do that so I like to keep everything kind of a decent mix between quality and time so I'm gonna leave I, I print with a bigger nozzle at 0.6 these machines come with a 0.4 so I like a 0.6 nozzle. I'm gonna come over here to my settings, standard quality, um, layer height. I really, guys, I leave this all default. I don't really mess with this stuff too much. The one thing I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change our infill a little bit. I'm gonna just take it from 20 to 30. I want this piece right here is more what I'm concerned about. I want it to be a little more solid. Obviously, it's not a practical piece, but I want it to be a little more solid. And I'm starting to ramble on, so I'm going to go ahead and get through this Cura slicing. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the time lapse of the actual 3D print of this piece. Real fast guys, another cool thing about Cura is if you go right up here into um, your preferences, configure, you can go right over here and you can select what currency you use. In America we use the dollar bill, so I put a dollar sign right there and then I went down here to materials and then you can select what you pay for a thousand um, grams or one kilogram of filament and it will give you an estimate of the cost of what you are printing so this roll was a thousand it was one kilogram and it cost me 30 bucks so I plug that in boom it'll tell me how much it's basically a cost and that's good for if you're gonna try to sell your product 
If you feel like you've learned anything in this video, please support my channel with a like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.